fish owl. Nice! Oh ho! Fish owl. He drilled it, guys. Fish owl. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Dylan Grubb here, the Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. Help me at 30,000 subscribers, I would really appreciate it. But it is actually November 8th. It's getting pretty cold here in the Midwest. It's around like 30, 40 degrees every morning. I was actually out on Lake St. Clair a couple days ago and I think it was 35 degrees until noon. So it's getting pretty cold. It's almost winter time. It's crazy. This year has flown by. I've had so many really cool memories and I've caught a lot of fish out of my brand new 2024 Ranger over there. But in today's video, like you saw from the title, I'm going to be going over some of the baits that I caught the most fish this year for 2024. Um, I think these are probably the most consistent lures that I caught the most fish out of all the different lakes that I covered in 2024. Me and my dad went down to Florida and fished down there, a bunch of different lakes. I went up to northern Michigan, fished a bunch of lakes up there, and just a bunch of lakes around here, Lake St. Clair, Saginaw Bay. So I'm going to be going over some of these lures and how I fish them and everything. Starting off is probably our number one lure out on Lake St. Clair for smallmouth in the springtime, the summer. I actually caught fish a few days ago with this in the fall in like 30 degrees. So this lure catches them all year round. It's good for smallmouth or largemouth. And this is actually the Mega Bass Haze Dong. It's like a 4.2 um, swim bait. That one's a clear swim bait right there. And I got that Strike King little jig on the swim bait jig head. When it's not so windy, me and my dad normally throw a 1 8 ounce. We like throwing that and if it gets to be a little more windy, if you're fishing deeper water, we throw a 1 4 ounce. So sometimes we throw the bigger head. Even when we are fishing earlier this spring for smallmouth, I don't know if that one day me and my dad went out and caught over 130 smallmouth all on that lure right there. It was probably one of the craziest days we've ever had out there besides that crankbait video we filmed like two or three years ago. But let me tell you, if you go to Lake St. Clair and you don't tie this on, I don't know what you're doing because this lure right here is the magic bait for smallmouth but that's the first lure i really like throwing that one and we're gonna stay on the topic for smallmouth again and the next lure is a drop shot i've been fishing drop shots pretty much all my life for smallmouth largemouth all over the place and i really love throwing a great lakes finesse drop worm I don't know how many big fish I caught on this this year from smallmouth, largemouth. And it seems like the smallmouth really like the green pumpkin purple one. This has been my best one for smallmouth out there. Just fishing super deep water. I caught a ton of big fish over on the Canadian side of Lake St. Clair with that one right there. So I really like throwing that drop shot. I basically just nose hook it with a little spear point hook and it works really, really good for me. And when I'm going for large mouth, it seems like all the inland lakes around here that I fish at least, the large mouth, like the green pumpkin red drop worm. That's a four inch drop worm. Normally when I'm fishing these, I'm trying to find some type of structure, whether it's rocks, stumps, deeper weeds, but th that structure is normally always going to hold fish. So what I'll do, I'll ride around with my side imaging and find a bunch of structure. I'll mark a waypoint on it. And then I'll turn around and cast on it for like 10 or 15 minutes, see if I can find any fish on it but next up would probably have to be the thunderhawk the lipless crankbait my dad actually i think i can't remember how long ago he started throwing these i think he read about it in a magazine i can't remember the story but he bought these silent traps i don't know 
because normally they're super loud, but listen, they're silent. These are super, super cool lures, guys, and they catch big, big fish. This one right here, I'm not exactly sure the color on that one, but it's like a craw style, super deep red and orange, and it's got some black on it, but this lure right here has caught me so many big fish this year from big largemouth, smallmouth, throwing that in shallow water in the springtime. Even in the fall, we caught some nice fish on that. So that Thunderhawk, I don't know what it is about that silent trot or silent lipless crankbait, but let me tell you, this lure catches giant largemouth. These are a few different colors that we like to throw. There's another one right there that we've caught a lot of big fish on over the years. We got that one, this straight, like deep red one right here. And then also this like shad style one. My dad's caught, I don't know how many five pounders on that bait right there. Basically just casting out and reeling it in at a steady speed. If you hit weeds, jerk it out of the weeds. And that's usually when you're gonna get that strike, guys. So I really, really like throwing that those silent on um, lipless crankbaits. I think next up, I'm gonna have to go with this top water. And earlier this year, I actually went up to Northern Michigan with one, one of my buddies, Blue Jays. And let me tell you guys, we fished some lakes we've never even been to before. We had no knowledge or anything. We started side imaging. We found a bunch of fish in shallow water. And let me tell you, I tied on this top water early in the morning. And I don't know if you can see all the markings on that top water, but I don't know how many fish I caught on this thing. It was absolutely insane. We probably caught over 50 or 60 smallmouth on these top waters it was incredible i really like those top waters with the three treble hooks on it seems like it always gets them really good and this walking bait caught me so many big smallmouth up there in northern michigan i even came back to lake st Clair and i tried this in some shallower areas that i know and i caught some really good smallmouth on that one as well on lake st Clair. so if you're going out there in the early mornings, whether it's fall, springtime, summer, tie on the white top water, a walking bait. And let me tell you guys, the smallmouth are gonna tear it up. But last but not least, the fifth lure, and this is pretty much a lure that I'm gonna have tied on every single time I'm fishing, whether I'm out on the boat, I'm pond hopping, I am always gonna have a rod with the Z-Man chatterbait jackhammer and this just you can fish these so many different ways you can fish them all over the country and they are gonna catch big fish let me tell you guys i've caught big small mouth big large mouth big northern pike on these things even huge rock bass it's pretty cool catching a rock bass every now and then but the best color that i had success with this year was that green pumpkin with red on it and normally that blade see how all the paint has come off of it now usually when that blade is like a green or like a black whatever it comes with normally i'll try to paint that or sharpie it again so it's darker but it seems like they want it more when it's not so shiny like that and I got that Z-Man razor shot on the back. I've tried a bunch of different colors. That one's like a green with red in it or just go straight green pumpkin. But, or I like to throw a Havoc Pit Boss on the back as a trailer. But these Z-Man chatterbaits, let me tell you, they catch big fish whether you're throwing it around deeper grass, letting it sink to the bottom and buzzing it off the bottom those fish will come over and nail it. Or you can cast out in shallow water around docks, any kind of structure, right when it hits the water, start reeling it super, super slow. Give it a few pops, just like that. Any type of um, different motion that you're gonna give that lure, any type of action that that fish sees, they're gonna hit it. Because if you just cast out 
and every time you're retrieving it at the same speed, those fish aren't gonna want it. So you always wanna be changing up the speed or action of that lure. That's just constantly what I'm doing the whole time I'm casting this lure because they don't always want it. Just reeling back and forth, you could cast it out and work it like a jig. Just, just drag it and pop it off bottom. I've caught so many big fish on that chatter bait drag hammer, um, just dragging it along bottom. Or just on the first fall when you cast out and it's falling down, those fish will come over and grab it before you're, you even reeled up your slack. So pay attention to that. And I think you guys will be super successful in the 2025 fishing season. If you guys use um, everything that I talked about in today's video, I really think that you're gonna catch some big fish, whether it's large mouth, small mouth, whatever you guys are targeting. Um, I've got a ton of confidence in all these lures right here. So I really appreciate you guys watching. I think I'm going to be heading out this weekend to go fish for some crappies on Lake St. Clair with my dad. So that should be pretty cool. Um, we might even be going down to Ohio to go deer hunting, but I really appreciate all the support. Thanks a lot for always watching my videos, giving the videos thumbs up and dropping comments. It means a lot to me. You guys are the best this year in 2025. I'm really, I've been telling myself I'm gonna try to collaborate with different guys, but I think in 2025, I'm really gonna try super hard to travel around and fish with different creators all over the country. So drop a comment who you think I should go fish with and film videos with. That would be awesome, but enough talking. I'm gonna wrap up today's video. Really appreciate you guys watching and we will see you in the next one.